Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is July 26, 2019. For those of you few viewers that I have who've watched my videos before, you know that my videos are not time specific. So if you're watching this now, this could be relevant, relevant for you right now. And it doesn't necessarily cover a period of time like a week or two weeks like a lot of readers do. It's just whatever. So it could be a one day thing, it could be a two week thing, whatever. Um, also, I've decided to change the way I do readings. I do a little um, preliminary pre-shuffle thing with another, with a separate deck to determine which sign I'm going to read for. And although I've done Taurus a couple of times already and I have not cycled through all of the signs, you came up again. So I'm going to do another Taurus reading because that's what came up. And my intention is to reach those who need the message and who benefit from it the most. So apparently you need this message more than others. And so you're getting the reading. So Taurus, um, this is a general love reading. So as you know, it could pertain to romantic love, friendship. It could be a co-worker you're dealing with, platonic relationship, family situation could also not involve anybody at all. It could be about self-love. Maybe you're going through a, a situation regarding some growth of your own, spiritual or otherwise, maybe job change. So it could reflect any of that, any of those situations or people within your life. So take it how it resonates, leave what doesn't. And I hope you get something out of this message regardless. So let's see what comes up for you, Taurus. In your underlying energy, you have the Queen of Wands. I do feel like this is you. Queen of Wands energy is generally somebody who is ambitious, has a lot going on, maybe working on a lot of projects, maybe you are very social, socially active. You could be dating a lot. You also have the Emperor in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Wands upright. Could be feeling a sense or a lack of, of control within a relationship or a situation, or that somebody is misusing power within a safe situation or a relationship. There's a delay in movement or no movement at all regarding a love situation. Or like I said, it could be family or work. And you may be waiting on a message or you might be seeking to deliver a message. It could be about a new beginning maybe, or something that you're excited about, a new project you want to get going, or you want to start working on. Paired with the Queen of Wands, you have Initiation, which is the Judgment card in the original or the traditional tarot. Judgment in Reverse can reflect a um, trying to make a decision or questioning a decision that was made already or feeling a need to make a decision but you can't, maybe you're stuck on something. Six of water in reverse, mother of fire, which is the queen of wands. So she's on here on the table twice. And then the star card in reverse I feel like there's some blocked communication or a refusal to communicate, whether it's on your part or with somebody else. Please don't. Oh, she's biting at me. Please don't. You want to go on the table? There you go. Don't mess up my cards, please. So you might have some blocked communication, like I said, or, or it feels 
this card, Six of Water in Reverse, is the Six of Cups in Reverse, but in this deck, the Book of Shadows, it means something different. So in the upright, it would be about clear communication with somebody or a group of people. In the reverse, it indicates um, a need to communicate with a willing party. In other words, somebody wants to communicate, but a refusal to do so or an inability to do so. And there could be a power struggle around this communication blockage with the emperor in reverse. The, <clears throat> I feel like there's some kind of new project, new idea, perhaps new adventure that you are looking to make a decision regarding. It could be a new relationship, um, but there's a lack of communication and therefore a lack of movement forward. And right now it feels like things are on hold. And you're feeling like you want to move forward with, with this. So something's keeping you from doing that. I'm not sure what that is right now. This is in bold, but it's the star card in reverse. <clears throat> so I just feel like there's some time that's been passing or more time that needs to pass. Or um, something that's preventing you from, from starting launching or getting whatever this is going right now Taurus it's just you I don't have any other energy from somebody from anybody else I'm gonna strike Carmilla's chewing on my glasses over here please don't mess my glasses up she thinks everything's a toy, and she thinks it's all for her. And I guess if you're a bird, that's true. Everything's for her. Clarifying your Queen of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this could have to do, this could have... Um, to do with a family situation, financial situation within a family. Is stalled or is causing some, some problems within a family dynamic. You have the King of Swords clarifying initiation or the Judgment card in reverse. This can be someone who is in control of the situation or a... Um, this could be someone who makes decisions like a judge or a lawyer or a um, someone, a figure of authority who's keeping this decision or this situation from moving forward. They have control for some reason. This could, I suppose, be a father figure. You do have the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, so maybe this is someone within the family who has authority. Interesting. You have the King of Wands now clarifying the Emperor in reverse. So this is, this feels like, this feels like it could be a third person. Let me get more cards out before I decide that. And you have the Three of Pentacles out here indicating possible group dynamic. And it does look like it might be regarding a work situation, financial opportunity. And then the Three of Swords showed up. Okay, there's no movement because of communication. Poor communication or just lack of communication altogether. And I 
think it's this king of wands who might be blocking the communication or is misusing the, his his power in some way and I say he because it's the king of wands but this can re represent a female too the king of wands is somebody who is ambitious is um, a leader within a group could be a work situation so this could be a boss especially with the emperor card here maybe someone who's misusing their power Or control manipulating the situation in some some way there's no movement because of the lack of communication or poor communication With the chariot card in reverse clarifying the six of Six of water or six of cups in reverse. So there's no movement forward because of the lack of communication or inability or unwillingness to communicate. You know, the page of wands twice. This time, this page of wands is clarifying the eight of wands in reverse. There's no move. This feels like something brand new for you. So it could be a brand new project, could be a brand new job. Could just be an idea that you want to move forward with but it is stalled or delayed or altogether stopped because of some other person this is not you you want to move forward and work on it you want communication you want to start or move forward with whatever this is this project or relationship I don't feel like it's a relationship right now anyway I feel like it's a group dynamic and other people are calling the shots you may you may even feel that this lack of communication is going to bring this to an end for you and you're feeling some grief and sorrow over that that your wish will not come true because of a lack of control over calling the shots or not are not having that ability to <clears throat> maybe this is a situation where you need some financial support to get this going and you're not receiving that. Maybe you're looking for financial support from a family member and that family, and this could be as simple as, hey dad, can you, can you give me a little bit of a loan so I can get this new, so I can launch this new idea that I'm interested in doing and he just outright says no. I'm not supporting it. It could be as easy as that, I mean as simple as that you're just not getting support within a family dynamic and so you, you feel like it's keeping you down keeping you from moving forward this king of swords might not trust this king of wands because the king maybe they, they see the king of wands as being manipulative or calling the shots or having control in this King of Wands, maybe, maybe this King of Wands is not communicating with this King of Swords. Maybe this is a situation where the King of Wands is not being um, forthright with information, and so that has caused the delay or the inability to move forward. And you just want communication from all parties so you can get this off the ground or get it moving clarifying the Queen of Wands is the Sun card in your underlying energy clarifying the initiation or judgment card is the ace of swords in reverse
clouded judgment, perhaps some deceit. Yeah, I don't think the King of Swords, either the King of Swords doesn't trust you or doesn't trust this King of Wands or both. And this King of Swords might be the one who is, who is the one who can kind of give you the green light because they're the ones with the financial control. You get the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I think that's exactly what this is. And the King of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords upright. They have the power to take action on this. I'm going to show you the cards here in a minute, but I want to get the rest of the cards out. This King of Swords may want you to end it with this King of Wands. They might be supportive of you, but not this person. And they may want, if they might be supportive of you if you were to take on this opportunity or whatever this project is alone. We have the Nine of Pentacles upright here, clarifying the Eight of Wands. There's something about this King of Wands because the Death card now came out clarifying. We have the Ten of Swords and the Death card clarifying this King of Wands King of Wands energy. There's a need, or or maybe this has already happened. Maybe this ending has already happened, and that's why there's this lack of communication regarding this new start, this new beginning. Everything's in a, in a standstill stuck mode for you right now. And all you want to do is communicate and move things forward. I don't feel like you're being given the opportunity. You're not letting go of this though. Whatever this is, you haven't let go because you think it's your Ten of Cups. In other words, you think that this can bring you ultimate happiness. This came out in the reverse. And I think it came out in the reverse because it's just not happening right now. But you feel, you feel like what whatever this is to you is your Ten of Cups. So in other words, you, you don't want to let this go because you feel like it could bring you ultimate happiness and satisfaction within your life. And the Queen of Swords is out here. I think this represents your need to, you want to communicate this to you. You're starting to feel like you've lost hope. You're starting to feel like you've lost hope because there's a lack of control. Okay, I want to show you some of these cards here. So clarifying your energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like there's a, a family situation here regarding financial. This might be a situation, like I said, where you are requesting a, a, a sum of money or a loan from a family member who I think is represented by the King of Swords. And this King of Sword had, Swords has all the power to make this happen for you. This Knight of Swords would be someone who takes action, good or bad, but this, this, this person has control to, to make this work. But there's a denial possibly of a financial support or unwilling to work with you in whatever way, shape or form. And I do feel like this King of Swords is either is not being honest with you or feels like there's deceit surrounding or you're feels like you might be clouded in your judgment regarding the situation or the people or person perhaps that you want to partner up with to make this happen and this king of wands Ten of Swords clarifying the Emperor in reverse. King of Wands is clarified by the Death card. There either is an ending currently or was already an ending and this could be the reason why this isn't moving forward or <clears throat> um, this King of Swords may want this ending with this other person in order to even consider this possible new beginning for you to support you in it. But there's no communication. There could be 
No communication on this King of Swords part or yours. I feel like this King of, maybe this King of Wands and this King of Swords don't get along. And so they refuse to communicate and kind of left that up to you. But this King of Swords know, knows that this King of Wands is connected with you in this situation. And so they're refusing to move forward with supporting you because they don't want this King of Wands involved. And so there's no movement forward with this new beginning and lack of communication. We got the temperance card. Now, normally this this is about healing, about balance, about balance, um, healing, very positive card. But it's clarifying the six of water ca card, which indicates the lack of communication, even though one party is willing and wanting to. This may indicate to me, and this just came to me as uh, it's kind of an unusual interpretation of this card but I feel like it might be both the king and the king of wands and king of swords an equal balance um, regarding their inability to communicate or lack of desire to communicate possibly with each other for some reason I'm feeling like it's this relationship between this king of wands and king of swords that's keeping this from moving forward and I feel like you're stuck in the middle And literally on the table, you're stuck in the middle. I mean, the King of Wands, I know you can't, I'm not gonna lift up all these cards, but the King of Swords is up here. You are here in the underlying energy and the King of Wands is here. So you are literally in the middle on the table. And you may be literally in the middle of these two people in this disagreement in real life as well. I feel like you might be a, you might be stuck with the desire to move forward with this project, even if it means doing it on your own, but you're stuck because you don't know how. You've got the Six of Swords in reverse clarifying the Page of Wands. You've got these ideas, you've got the ambition, you've got the desire, but you're stuck. You want to move forward, but you can't. And your wish for healing this, this opportunity is just communication just get this going with some communication but it's not happening whoever's involved is just completely unwilling to talk and learn and hear the other perspective or the other person's side there's just a, a, a lack of desire to hear your perspective or to learn more about how this could work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, Carmela, but I don't know what you're doing back there, but you're bugging me. You're feeling some grief and sorrow, definitely. This desire and this, this desire to move forward with whatever this new beginning is for you is still very strong for you. You still have a very strong desire to move forward, but I, I feel like you're, um, you're losing hope or you have already lost hope and you're already grieving. There's, there's deep, deep sorrow, deep sorrow regarding this, this potentially lost opportunity and feeling like you've lost the battle. I can, I can actually sense the disappointment. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it with you right now. I can see it in the cards. I can see it in the cards and I can feel it. Almost like you're saying, if you would just listen to my point of view and my side or listen to this King of Wands. I don't know if this King of Wands though, is a character you should be dealing with. I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting some bad vibes off this King of Wands. So if this King of Wands was involved and no longer is, that might be a good thing, Taurus. I'm just, I'm just saying. Based on what I'm seeing, and it does look like there's been an ending here, 
that might be a good thing. Maybe that's the one thing that needed to happen before there could be any movement forward. I'm not saying there's movement forward because I don't feel that right now. See, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, right? And that would be a natural pair. You're the Queen of Wands and you've got the King of Wands over here. So natural pair. This could have been a situation where this is an actual marriage partner. And because this marriage, maybe there's been a divorce or a separation. That's the, potentially this Ten of Pentacles in reverse could indicate that too, that there was an ending with a person. And it could have been this King of Wands that just ended up being the the one thing that that killed this new beginning or this new opportunity that you were looking for. I'm going to get a few more clarifiers and then bring this to a close for you, Taurus. Let's see if we can't get any, any more information regarding possibly what might be happening for you moving forward with this. So there's definitely a, a lack of hope. It's very strong. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so the King of Swords has both the Ace of Swords and the Ace, Ace of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords in the upright, clarifying your his energy. This person could feel like there's just a lack of clarity not understanding that where this is going and all they want is some clarity on this in order to feel more confident in helping you move forward with it. But again, with a lack of communication that simply is not happening. Ace of Wands, you have that twice here for clarifying the lack of communication with the non-movement forward showed up twice. Thing is it's not in reverse if it were in reverse it would indicate to me that this is already a missed opportunity that it's over it's in the upright i feel like depending on your decision whether well, maybe you were move forward with this independently that this is this is still potentially could happen for you you have the sun in reverse now the sun has shown up twice in this reading too but this time it's in the reverse on clarifying your energy you're unhappy. You're unhappy about this. You're unhappy about feeling misunderstood, unhappy about the miscommunication or lack of communication. And this is absolutely unjust what is happening. Because I do feel like you feel this is clarifying the star card in reverse. There's injustice here. And I think you feel that strongly that somehow you're not being supported. And you feel... Like, this is injustice. It's not fair. It's not right. That, those are your feelings. You know, I'm, you know, when I read for somebody, I feel, I feel like I'm kind of, based on what I see in the cards, can almost feel your disappointment, like I said. So, I'm, I may sound like I'm taking your side, and to a certain extent I am, because that's what the cards are telling me, that this somehow is unjust, and that you just need to be heard, you need to be trusted, that you're making the right move. Somebody might be telling you you're just too immature to make these kind of decisions, or you've got your head in the clouds, and this is a ridiculous new idea that you have that you want to launch for yourself new job opportunity or a new project or whatever it is and someone's just not hearing you out they're just not listening that's a, that's an unjust situation to be in because you deserve to be heard you deserve to be heard we get a few more cards out here for you taurus and see what else comes up so clarifying your underlying energy and, and you you have the Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, this has been... Whether this is a financial support that just didn't come your way or an actual divorce or separation from somebody else, 
it's been a significant stroke of bad luck, if you want to call it that, or just <coughs> the inability to move forward because it's just hasn't been the right time or just wasn't working out. Wow. Okay, clarifying the emperor in reverse, you have the, the magician in reverse. This king of wands, bad news, bad news. Manipulative, misusing power, uh-uh. You ended this and that's good. If this was a relationship, if this was a marriage and this ended, that was the right thing to do. That That's, that's what I'm getting off of that card. And here we have the moon in reverse. So there's some unknown, some fear, feeling in the dark, feeling like you're, you don't know what to do. There's confusion possibly about how to move forward, maybe feeling nervous, scared, or worried about how to move forward to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And there it is clarifying your page of wands, the fool card. You just want this new beginning so bad because it's your 10 of cups. And you know it in your heart and your soul. You want it so bad. It's not going away. You have the world in reverse, which indicates maybe it's a cycle you feel like you have to end, but you can't because it's just not, this feeling is not going away. You want this so badly for yourself. Wow. Taurus, i give you a little bit of advice. <clears throat> this is just personal. This is not the card speaking. This is me. But I think that Spirit would say this too. If you want this bad enough, go freaking and get it. Figure out a way. Figure out a way to do it. If you want this bad enough, I'm turning this upright. If you want this bad enough, go get that justice for yourself. Go get your Ten of Cups. I turned this upright too. Go get your Ten of Cups yourself. Make it happen. You can figure this out. If you want this this badly, prove them wrong and go get it. I think you can do it. Imagine how you would feel, how you will feel, when you make this happen for yourself. All the naysayers are going to look at Taurus and say, shit, they were right. That's what I've got for you, Taurus. I hope that this reading was helpful in some way, even if it was just confirmation on how people were behaving or how you were feeling about the situation. And you know what? Um, I know there's lack of communication here. Um, you can also make that happen too. Don't give up. I think you can make this work. Um, again, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye Taurus.